hostel I've been at the last two nights. Uh, this hunk of property up here. And I'll give you a show around. I think this RV is uh, owned by the head honcho. She's a woman. I haven't met her, Dr. Pepper. This is a little business office here with the uh, pretty cool painting on the outside. And there's a number of guys. I haven't met the lady, but uh, there's a number of guys, and I think most of them all live over here, like I said, that have been extremely helpful. They're all big hikers. And this is where you pay and all that inside the office, inside. And there's just plenty of room around here. You can actually uh, tent here for 12 bucks a night. And I'm sure when the bubble gets here, it'll get pretty busy and there'll be tons of people coming. This is the bunkhouse right here which is an old two-car garage. I don't know how many bunks are in there, probably 18 or 20. Uh, still people sleeping. So when everybody gets up, I'll go in there and show you around. This facility here is the bathhouse. This three bathrooms, very, uh, very well done. I'm gonna take you inside in just a moment. And around the back here, kinda hard to see with all the sun coming up. Uh, there's a couple tables down there, there's a fire pit. And uh, there's a little hiker kitchen and a, uh, a laundry back there. With you. So this is the uh, each one of the bathrooms. Very well, well equipped, very clean. Got everything you need in here. And right next to each one of the toilets is the poop feet. So you can put your left foot on one side, put your right foot on the other and maybe simulate you're back in the woods. <laughs> I I, uh, I guess some hiker design these, and they're in each one of them, but I got a kick out of them when I saw And this is more fire pit places to camp. Uh, lots of stuff here. They've done lots of cleaning up uh, just in the last day that I've been here. I zeroed here yesterday, and I got in here the late in the afternoon before. And this is, uh, there's some private rooms here that you can rent. Uh, as well, and I think this private rooms in another, maybe the main house that I showed you coming in. And uh, this is a nice kitchen facility inside here. Good morning. Good morning. I'm just doing a little video. So this is a common area here. Got lots of DVDs and all. And uh, all kinds of stuff available for any of the hikers that want to partake of the kitchen to include using the fridge. And there's a whole bunch of stuff here in the hiker pantry uh, for people to donate to or take depending upon their needs and all kinds of stuff are available here. So it's quite a place. I definitely recommend uh, this place. There's the address and Pippa Dr. Pepper who's in charge of the place. All the birds waking up up back here. Um, I'm walking tree. I go by that trail name because I'm deaf and blind and I walk into trees. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is my fourth year here at Angel's Rest. We're one of the originals that came and helped open it up. Um, so we go back every winter to Massachusetts and come back down. And I only have 300 miles left to the trails from Pennsylvania to Connecticut, New York line. So what we do is we entertain and be here for the north bounders. And then once uh, the north bounders have passed through, we jump back up on the trail for a little while and hike and then come back for the south bounders. All right. And repeat. Awesome. <laughs> that's what awesome. We've been doing. Where, where about some Massachusetts are you originally from? Foxball. Foxball. Yeah. Home of the Patriots. Oh, yeah. <laughs> used All to right. sit there and listen to them out in the front lawn into the lake. Yeah. And the stadium was on the other side of the lake, so we'd be listening to the radio, and every time you hear the roar or the chair, you'd hear it on the yeah. radio. So awesome. Kind of cool. All right. Okay, thank you. Yep. Hola. Mule, also known as Aaron, originally from Reading, Massachusetts. Uh, living down in Florida, got on trail February 17, 2017. Been... Hiking up the trail, doing a work for state thing pretty much every day. That's what I do. I came up and I got here May of last year. 
been here since. Still here. No, no plans on going anywhere anytime yeah. soon. Awesome. Um, love this place. It's a great place to be. Everybody that's on the trail should stop here. Yeah. Um, I, I totally agree. <laughs> you guys are doing a bang up job. Well, I gotta you. tell you, everybody's you. happy. So. Yeah. Uh, how, yeah that's, uh, how about your sidekick yeah. over there? My sidekick is Mishna. Mishna. She is a full bred German Shepherd. Almost, almost a year old. A couple yeah. days. Yeah. Beautiful. It'll be a year. So this is one more of our host uh, here at Angel Rest Hike of Haven, and I'll ask him to introduce himself. Tell us a little about himself. I'm the Tramp. Uh, that's what they call me on the trail. I hiked in 17 and 18. I've got Georgia, North Carolina, Virginia, up to Parisburg, Maine, New Hampshire, and Vermont done. Um, and then I came back in the 18 Sobo season to try and help out around here. And then they invited me back. So here I am for the Nobo season. Awesome. And you provided some pretty deep, oh, well, I think your girlfriend provided some pretty decent yeah, banana I had, bread. Yeah, I had, I had nothing to do with that yeah, banana yeah. bread. Well, you I, did. I you asked for it. That's yeah. about all as far you as I got. You left it here for the hikers and we appreciate it. Yeah, not a problem. But, but we really enjoyed uh, our time here. I already talked to this character over here. <laughs> but you guys, you guys have done a superb job. And we appreciate I'll, it. I'm going to wear the bracelet and the first guy that doesn't know about the place, I'm going to give it to him just like Porkchop did for me the other day. Awesome. All right, thank you very much. Thanks, appreciate guys. It. We'll see all you right. soon. This is the last piece of Angel Rest Hike of Haven that I haven't shown yet. We have a special guest over here, the tree man. We've seen him before. He magically appeared yesterday. Sons, his wife, and his dog, Moxie. But yes. uh, he's here. She'll be back on the trail. I think so. Yeah. Moxie as well. Maybe Moxie. Yeah. <laughs> Grounded hikers all over the place, right? Yeah. All right. So uh, they have a great selection of hiker clothes on both sides of the room they have a hiker box with stuff that people have dropped off here and uh, all kinds of little sundry items here and there's uh pillowcases uh, towels and face cloth and washcloths for the uh for the shower so it's a great place i highly recommend everybody come here <laughs>